Hey, hello and welcome back. I hope you have been staying indoors, staying safe and doing well. It's been almost two months for me, like I have been inside home, which is now like office, home, everything else. And um, yeah, it's kind of getting a little like, man, like it's a little bit boring because I literally haven't stepped out of the house except like on Saturday evenings, usually I will go out to the terrace, um, maybe for like 15, 20 minutes, but that's about it. Um, so I don't know how you have been coping with it, but I thought today we'll do a little bit of a lighter topic. So if you have been watching the last couple of uh, video uploads, you know it's been a little bit serious. And I have some friends tell me that, oh my God, it's like a lot of content to process. So I thought, okay, while you, you know, process the content, we'll just do something light and fun because, you know, we are all stuck in together globally inside our houses. So today, get your cup of coffee. I have my coffee with a little bit of coconut milk. And um, today we'll talk about all the fun stuff, my favorite lockdown products that I have been using, eating, watching, reading, everything. And um, I hope you find some of it um, helpful or something that you can refer to or do on your own. And I would love to know what you have been doing. I always keep on thinking that, you know, the best part of having like zero subscribers is like, well, I have 46, very thankful for those who have subscribed, but literally like not even 100 is, which means I can be very honest. It's almost like talking to myself and my maybe friends and family. So um, it's a very close community right now. So I can actually be very honest. I think when you have like huge amount of subscribers, like a million or, you know, in thousands, I can't even imagine. But for people who do that, I would think like I would have to rethink my content and not be honest or not as honest because you would think like I don't want to miss out on my subscribers or people unsubscribing me because the number is so huge. So to maintain that, you have to put in a lot of work. So if I upload something or say something that someone might not like, I have to worry about it. But right now, it's just me honest opinion and um, yeah just me so we are going to I'm, go I'm going to try to categorize it so it's easy for it's more like a, has a sequence to it so we'll see how this goes oh this is my mess of my home cut hair so don't mind the fringes and the fact that I have to keep on moving it off my eyes because I messed it up you can see like it's not too long not too short I was trying to and I off, cut off the length because it was just growing too much all right I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna to get to the video and um, I think the first thing we'll start with I thought would be like when you wake up in the morning so we'll try to go through the day and see the products that I've been using so the first one for me I have told before like usually I'm a tea person right now if you have watched my previous video today is an exception coffee because I was getting ready and I really wanted myself to be like focused like I have to get this video done today otherwise everything is planned but the fact that I have to take the time and sit down um, sometimes I procrastinate so I got all my stuff here here is my new found um, tea now I like tea but I don't drink tea with milk so my tea has to have a very nice flavor and um, the one that I was drinking was something that my parents got from Calcutta it's from a local tea store but it's very very good like has a really nice aroma to it but obviously we ran out of it and now we can't order or anything so I had to go to Amazon and see what was available so this is what I got this is Darjeeling tea how to make the perfect cup this is amazing now it comes in a tin as you can see and obviously inside an aluminium foil is the tea there's nothing much to show except that there is tea inside um, what I like is it stays airtight as much as possible you don't have to transfer it to like a glass jar or a plastic jar or whatever so the smell goes away every time you open it so you just open the foil take a scoop out of it it's rather hot very warm in Hyderabad um, so I have been loving it 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 is it has this amazing aroma and um, I like light tea I don't like those like too dense tea or how do you say like too karwa a tea so this is good for me and I absolutely love it so if you're looking for something apart from the regular tea that you have and you want to have a little bit different because we are at home and there is nothing much happening to 
keep ourselves i wouldn't say entertained but like keep the focus because you want to have something that perks you up or keeps you going things like that i think this is a good find now the next product is also related to breakfast and this is a hack for me as a mom and also the fact that i've cooked for five people in the home uh, my parents are here and we are here so it's like every time i make breakfast um, not breakfast like three meals breakfast lunch and dinner and then snacks for my kid um, on and off all the time like every two hours he wants something to eat and um, i was tiring out because apart from the cleaning the you know office and everything else it was a, like a lot of cooking going on and then every time you cook something you wash three more dishes along with it so i thought i wanted to automate my breakfast i really don't want to get up and start cooking um, so the option was bread now initially we weren't getting a lot of bread where i stay so i started making bread it was easy recipe that i found i'll try to link it below and i'll show a crusty rustic bread picture if you're interested um, it turned out fine my son enjoyed it a lot with like jams we made homemade jams and all uh, like mango jams and things like that and it was fine for a while now once we started getting bread now the automated part is either you have bread or you have cereal and once in a while i'll make like a proper traditional breakfast whatever it is poha upma um, or once in a while the sabudana breakfast which i absolutely love so that is only once in a while i do it i don't do it on a regular basis at all because there's like so much cooking and i've been cooking every day for the last like two months now i try to keep the actual box of it but because i bought it i think last month someone threw it away so i have it transferred in a different as you can see that was brown basmati rice thing but i'll show you and i'll show you the picture now this can you see like this is the almonds and you have flakes so you have it's like amazing to have actually very very crunchy and it's dark chocolate and orange dark chocolate and orange combination is my absolute favorite so let's see if i can show you yeah this is the moon harvest uh, if you go on amazon i think um they are delivering this so it's toasted millet muesli dark chocolate and orange peel and it's absolutely amazing put like the normal boring kellogs the basic cornflakes and i'll sprinkle it like chia seed on um top of my boring cornflakes or cereal and then it just spikes it up and then it lasts longer so that has been my absolute favorite and also favorite for a lot of people in my home who like chocolates including my kid those are the very important morning things um now coming to snacks now this is like a bridge between snacks and sometimes even dinner for my kid it's just bread and you break an egg on top of the bread and um if you want you can put some ketchup or if if you have like a pasta or pizza based sauce at home just put that first then break the egg and then you can put a little veggies i usually put like bell peppers capsicum or onions little bit of sprinkle of oregano and uh, if you don't have oregano in your home but you can look through if you have ordered pizza before like you'll have those small pouches they'll have those italian seasonings you can put them i don't put chili flakes but you know depending on who is eating you can put because my son eats mostly i don't put chili flakes on it and then i'll put mozzarella cheese that works wonderfully well now when everything is done you just put it in your oven and like maybe like 5 minutes so what happens is the egg the cheese will melt and the egg sort of becomes like it won't be runny so and it's cooked and it looks like a pizza oh um another food uh, hack or tip before i go now this one is over but i managed to keep the jar it went out so fast i i think we bought it like 3 4 days ago and it's over let me see the jar is empty and i washed it yesterday because it was all gone um i don't know from which part of india you're watching but in hyderabad here there's an app called licious here the licious one now it says is licious meaty treat what it has inside is well i was very skeptical when i first saw it and i was like who wants like a like a spread like a chicken spread so they have different flavors on their website but i think this one was the butter chicken one because i thought if i'm going to try i'm going to try something which is um you know very basic and um 
I know I like butter chicken, so maybe this will go nicely. But I really wasn't okay with like a chicken jam on my toast, and I couldn't fathom who on earth would buy it, <laughs> which is uh, butter chicken cooked. But then it's like probably I don't know what they do, like uh, use a blender or something. So it has the consistency of that you can spread on a bread, but it has chunks of chicken in it, and it's delicious. And I thought this was like an amazing hack because if you have it in the house and you're busy or you're in some meeting and your kid needs to eat and you're stuck in something else, you can just, you know, take out a piece of bread, put it in and then your kid has a snack or a meal or whatever it is. Coming to skincare, we are all stuck in home which means we don't need to use makeup even if you just use the basics like a liner or a lipstick or something very basic we don't need to we can all give our skin the rest the much needed rest that we all needed um, your hair can even mine has like lots of white as you can see you don't need to color your hair um, do whatever trendy thing is there because nobody is seeing you you're inside home now for some i understand it can be something that you're anxious about but i mean look at the positive side your hair can be the way it is supposed to be you don't need to shampoo it every day because you're going out or, or you're going to be in office and things like that you can just let your hair your skin uh, be the way it is and heal and you know take the time to look natural be be natural and that is a fantastic thing to have now, having said that, in the, during the lockdown, I have been trying to be a little more cautious about my skincare. So, um, I did not think, you know, initially that the that this whole lockdown will go on for so long. So, my I had a, I had enough in stock, but my uh, basic face cream and stuff like ran out. I was using I, I think I was using the chia seed one um, cream, the green jar from Face Shop. So now that I ran out of it and I looked up, nobody initially was like, uh, you know, even delivering anything. But once I had the chance, this is the first thing that I ordered from Amazon. The reviews were amazing. That is the reason I got into it. And the mom's company, I actually have gifted people uh, mom's company sets for babies and they have all raved about it that it's so good. So I thought this is obviously not the baby version. This is for adults. And it says natural vita re a vita rich face cream with uh, vitamin C, B3, B5, and E, and hyaluronic acid. Anti pigmentation, even skin tone, 50 ml. Okay, 50 ml costs you 699 rupees. Now, this is a very nice looking bottle and comes with a pump. I don't like putting my finger in jars and then using it because I always feel like my hands might not be as clean and then I'm contaminating. I'm contaminating the entire jar. So, this one is really nice. So, as you can see, okay it comes out like this and it's light it has a light orangey scent it's not like heavy at all but has a beautiful sheen and i like it and it's very very hydrating now for people like me or like a lot of us right now in summer if you are sitting under the ac or in a room which has ac for a longer period of time our skin tends to dry out now if you have dry skin um, this is probably a little light for you but when you sit for a prolongated period in AC rooms um, this will dry out so even after you apply like an hour later you'll still feel it's dry like you haven't applied it's not like thick so what I do is I will apply this and if I feel like it's still drier I'll apply a thicker cream just like a basic Olay or a Cetaphil or anything that you have at home that works or if nothing else just um, whichever oil coconut oil olive oil that will also do if you can not feel hot or warm if you're putting oil in your face but a little bit one or two drops should be fine so this is a great find if you're interested you can try this uh, do i like it yes will i repurchase it probably yes i actually bought two of these bottles so i'm like covered for a few months now but this is an amazing find i don't like a lot of products that has like very heavy smell to it but this one is like really nice like i said i like this orangey flavor thing orange or lime thing and this is orange as well so i like it I recently got two more things so after um, I think Nike was delivering and all I thought I'll I have used uh, what do you call it like facial mist sprayers before and I think I've made a video on it before as well I'll try to find it and put the link in the description box but if you have seen that video you know I use the Avin one now I had a bigger bottle this one is obviously a smaller one because uh, Nike didn't have the bigger bottle but it's still in packed stage and I can open it let's try let's try let's try 
there you go come on there is something satisfying every time you open up there you go this is a smaller bottle but if you want to try it out you can try a smaller one it says avin uh, thermal spring water for sensitive skin i do have a sensitive skin but what i like most about is is you spray it on your face it has a very fine spray you can see so i'll even spray it oh it doesn't have any smell but i don't know if you can see it's sort of like it's very very refreshing and it brings a little bit of glow to your face and i like it um in summer i usually will carry a spray like a facial uh, mist in my office bag but now that i don't go out this also works for me because um i'm sitting in ac and i still want to like once in a while feel fresh and like wake up and things like that because you're constantly looking at the screen you don't have a lot of places to move around or go to so this works wonderfully well now this is a bit expensive i'll try to find the link and put it in the description box from nika so i thought i'll also get a second bottle because who knows how long you know we are all staying in home so this is from my favorite brand face shop does it say face shop anywhere ha ah, face shop okay there you go and this is called the chia seed advanced vitamin b12 hydro mist 165 ml now this is also wonderful this one doesn't have any like smell to it it's like absolute just, just like water spraying water this one comes with a nozzle as well what i like about this one is the is the smell it's light but it's so nice like you'll feel like a like a queen for even if it's for like a second because you feel like you're treating yourself to something really really nice god i hate this hair i should know how to cut a bang all right <laughs> so um i like this too now i don't know if i want to spray myself again but here yeah. this has a rosy um smell to it but it's really light so it's not like you're hit with like a rosy punch but it's a very light spray and i like it but if you're a kind of person who gets the skin gets drier a lot so either you have a dry skin or you have a combination skin and things like that this again is a great product now obviously given the situation and you know whatever we are going through globally um it does not make sense sometimes to buy things like this but if you can and if you want to definitely i mean um it's a nice pick me up but even if you have like rose water in home like the basic dabar rose water it works perfectly fine either if you have a empty spray bottle put it put the rose water in there keep it in the fridge and spray it on it's just wonderful i use my dabar rose water is always in the fridge or sometimes i'll just put in a, a cotton and dab it on my face the cold rose water it's equally good and satisfying so feel free i think you can also put like a nariyal pani in it and spray on your face or just dab it because it's very good for your skin um new thing and i'm done again this is from from face shop i really think i have been into face shop products because um they are good they somehow suit my skin and i like the way it's done so it has like a very natural flavor or a very light flavor not very greasy i don't like to put a product on my face and like everything will be like a shimmering disco ball uh, i i want things to get soaked in and i want want to look natural and feel fresh from inside out so face shop products actually do that very very well it do, it does it's not sticky it does not leave like a sheen of whiteness on my face or it doesn't i don't break out after it, even if i use a new product so this is a very new product for me it's a rice ceramide moisturizing emulsion okay again from face shop and this is also good because um I think usually like I'll put a toner or I'll spray this and then if I just put this this is enough. Now this when you take in your hand I'll actually show. Okay, you just squeeze it out of the bottle like like tap here. Now I don't know what smell it is. It's but it's really nice and fresh. and um again it absorbs very well it's it's not sticky i think when i read in the review someone said it was sticky so otherwise during the day these work like extremely fine you don't feel like weighted or sticky or like sweat falling off your face because you wore a cream 
So again, great products. Now that we have discussed enough about skincare, um, I like to read and I think I have been telling it on in every single video, a lot of them at least. So I think um, this time is a wonderful time if you're a reader, if you like to sit down and read. And these are my latest two downloads. So I think I started reading the uh, Trillion Dollar Coach, but somewhere down the line I start because I, I mean it's a wonderful read, but I think it's like too intense back and forth and going. So it's something like you don't read casually, you read with a lot of attention. And sometimes I just want to read like a feel good stuff, something that is a, sort of like a, I won't say light read, but like a, I don't know if you can understand, like a nicer feel to the nicer vibe to the read. I don't want to read a lot of complications and politics and things like that. So what I got yesterday is uh, two books. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see, where is the book? Here, The Motivation Hacker, okay, this one, and The Year Without Pants. Now, the year, without, the year Without Pants is by Scott Burke, and I, I haven't started reading it, but I read good reviews about it, and the book is actually free. So if you go to Amazon Kindle, if you go to Amazon Kindle, the link, or even if you go to his website, you can just download, uh, get the link. Um, Scott Burke has a website as well. If you haven't read books of Scott Burkin, I think he's an amazing writer. I think I have another book of his on project management, which I bought like, I don't even remember, like years ago. But I have been following his blog once in a while. And yesterday, I actually saw that his blog had this um, free download that he's giving it right now. And obviously, I went and downloaded that. I haven't read it, so can't give you a review. Can't say it's good or bad. But given knowing Scott Burkin and his writing has to be good. And uh, the other one is called Motivation Hacker. Now, I again read a review or a link of it somewhere, and I thought I'll download it. I downloaded the Kindle version, obviously it's paid, but the reason I started reading is because I saw the first page and I was like, I need the book. Because I think in the preface or the four, what he was talking about, how he has been trying to do multiple things, like 15, 20 things at the same time, and how he has been figuring out how to get them all done in a given period of time. And I was like, that's me, I always, overcome it to myself and then I feel horribly down because I haven't been able to do 20 things every day because I'm human and I don't feel like sometimes I don't have time no matter how much I automate my house so if you are looking for some motivation if you want to use this time and get something done other than complaining or feeling oh, I have nothing else to do maybe the book will help so try that what else do I have oh well, I'm sure all of you know by now, I'm a mom. I have a five-year-old kid. So here's what I got from him. So here's the thing. Being a mom is difficult as it is during this lockdown period. My kid, I know, is going wild and cranky and he hasn't gone to school in two months. He, has, he hasn't seen his friends. Um, he's a very social kid. He likes to go to school. He's not a kid who will say, I don't want to go to school. He's like too happy to, you know, wake up and jump into the school bus. So it has been hard for him. And the fact that we can't go anywhere. So once in a while, he'll go to the terrace, bike around, and then he's always bored. So I thought, okay, I mean, he watches a lot of stuff on YouTube, most of it very educational stuff. He's into astronomy and all that. And he's really like serious about it, knows a lot more than I do. And, um, uh, but I thought I'll give him, I'll, I'll try something different and see if that works. Now, I don't want to give him a lot of screen, screen time, but also at the same time, when I have those conference calls happening, I don't want him to kick on my door and scream mommy, mommy all the time. So I was like, okay, at least during my conference calls time, I, I'll, I'll make sure he's sitting with something nice and then he'll do it and then I get my calls done and take off the screen time. So if you can see, I got him two apps here. One is Baiju's. Oh. Two apps here. One is Baiju's. One is called Khan Kids. Khan Kids is from Khan Academy and Baiju's is obviously from Baiju's. Now, so as you can see, it does say 
good afternoon soma because it's my ipad and i downloaded it for him but you have the maths and english and story and everything so you can just click on each of these and they have wonderful storylines the videos are really good and i like them a lot the way they teach and all is also really really good so i really like that one and it's free so i wanted to try out and i wanted to know whether you know khan academy kids so this is from khan academy and it's again very very nice so if i i've created a profile obviously for him and then he can choose from the library like what he wants to do and um it's fun because they have books videos they have um, you can draw you can do a lot of stuff so if you see here these are all the tabs and you can choose any one of them and do and again the video quality is really really good given that it's a free version all right the last one i think will be entertainment now i think i've been very vocal about the fact that i don't usually watch a lot of series but i have an exception and let me see if i have netflix so um i have been watching the last dance and i suddenly see a lot of people interested in it if you don't know what last dance is you have to watch it because you don't need to be a basketball fan fan to watch last dance there you go this is the last dance and you don't have to be a sport buff or you don't have to be someone who's into basketball to watch it even if you don't but you like to know um hacks or how a world class athlete like prepares himself or herself for the future or what makes them so different what makes them so competitive what makes them so successful then i think this is the series i prefer to call it like a documentary though i think in india you they have um, two episodes that come every monday it's an absolute heaven bliss to watch it because it will pump you up like nothing else it will show you how michael jordan led his life or the competitive edge how he built on it of course there are positives negatives everything in the story as well but you can only choose to take as much as you want to take right and then you know build up on it feel motivated if you feel motivated you feel good you have the good vibes in it in you i think you can do whatever you want you have plans to do so um that is one last dance other one is called nadia's time to eat let me tell you about this one i need to keep this we all love hacks as working women as mothers that's what we live on at least i live on uh each episode you know will take you through a couple of recipes which are hacks which means if you have been doing french toast or things like that she'll show you to do all the classics and some new ones and some quick dinners and stuff which obviously you can freeze them you can batch cook them and you can just do it in a snap which takes you know which leaves you with a lot of free time so if you're okay watching a cooking show one of the recipes is something that you can actually use in your kitchen it's it's not all frilly frolly stuff so absolutely wonderful one last thing before i wrap up is my favorite product because we're talking about different domains of product but if you take away everything from me right now and leave me with just one just one has to be this let's see if i can god it's heavy <laughs> can you see i don't know how i'm going to supposed to show this so this is like a ikea bed how do you call it this is like the ikea table i i'll try to put a link somewhere in the description box because i really can't show it right here um why it is so important right now because if you're a person who's working in this lockdown mode and um, you know we're sitting at stretch for a longer period of time longer than what we used to do in office now and uh, sometimes you might have a desk and chair situation done for you already which is very comfortable and which is good sometimes you might not have now whether you have or you don't have this is always handy why if you don't have you can actually sit down on the floor and then you can use this as sort of like a table put your laptop on it it's very comfortable and sit and you can rest yourself on a wall or a bed or a anything anything that keeps your spine straight and comfortable it has worked wonderfully well for me i sometimes a lot of times sit on the floor and work that's one if you want to have a standing desk and right now everything is closed including ikea so you really can't go anywhere and buy anything 
this is handy because I put it on the edge of my bed and then I put the laptop on it and I can stand and work. It's like amazing as well because you don't have to sit all the time. So you can use it the way you want. Um, my kid sometimes sits on the bed and uses it as a, like a snack table. So this has, I think when I bought it, I bought it because everybody in Pinterest had these pictures of sort of tables like this when they're sitting and working and I really like the idea. And um, yeah, I get impulsive sometimes and I bought it and I thought, oh, I'm gonna use it. I frankly never used it then. I mean, I opened it, I just, I don't know. I didn't find any use of it then because there was no time to sit at home. You were like in office when you were back home, you're doing a million things. Who has the time to sit and, you know, enjoy a breakfast on your bed? So uh, never used it. However, now, now I'm finding the value of it. I think it, ha it has, I have had the most ROI of all the products that I have bought in this. And obviously a couple of other products like the dishwasher and things, but this one has been a lifesaver. Now, I have never like, I never had a standing desk, but this one, with this one, uh, I do stand up and work most of the time. I sit on the floor and work, and I obviously have a small table set up as well, where I work as well. Um, why I use multiple setup is a different story, but it like keeps your motivation up, because if you are sitting down on like one place for a longer period of time, I think for me at least, I, I get bored very fast, and I'm like, oh, can't do this anymore. And I don't like to use different other rooms because I want to keep it open for everyone else in my family to enjoy. So they, every time someone calls me from office, I don't have to say like, mute the TV, mute the TV, or like, don't talk. So I usually work out of my bedroom, which is here right now, and I use it wherever I need to place it and work. So I think that's about it. I, I think I have talked enough for today. <laughs> really enough for today um, last tip have some flowers just put it yesterday we had like a stormy rainy thing I'll um, the branch just fell this is the mango not a branch like a twig from mango tree fell in the balcony I liked it so I kept it here along with the other plant that I had so I'm just trying to bring in a little more green so my eyes can look somewhere else though I have a lot of green just right in my window but I'm not always sitting here this is my reading nook and also my filming nook for now I hope this was a little fun and lighter and uh, I would definitely like to know what you have been doing. Have you been reusing any of your home products in a different way during this lockdown period? Have you uh, bought something different or how your life has been in general? Um, don't forget to let me know and thank you very, very, very much for watching once again as usual. So if you have subscribed, thank you very much. You might want to hit the bell button because I am not very, it's not like I upload every Monday. My, I know I should, but my schedule is a little bit hodgepodge here and there. So if you click on the bell, bell button every time I upload, you actually get a notification, which I think especially in my case it helps because you never know when I'm uploading. Um, yeah, bad thing to say, but that's what it is, reality. So thank you once again and cheers and take care of yourself, take care of your family, be positive, just create good vibes and thrive. Thanks once again. Bye-bye.